Yes, a rash of car home car and home break ins have Quincy police sounding the alarm and WGEM's Blake Salmon, who joins us live in downtown Quincy, has more on what police are seeing and how you can keep you and your family safe. Blake. Mackenzie, I'm here at the corner of 9th and Kentucky. This is the heart of an area where Quincy police say three break-ins to homes have been reported in just the last two weeks. They say they've also seen another three reports of home break-ins in an area that's further east, just by 24th and Broadway. Now, I talked to officers today, and they say that is happening already on top of the reports they're taking every single day of belongings being taken, for in, of belongings being taken from cars across the city. It's really upsetting because Quincy has the perceived safety. But Quincy homeowner Nicole Harrington says she's well aware that break-ins happen in the city and in her neighborhood. Several neighbors that they've had incidences where their cars have been broken into, um, either in the past uh, last few years or as recently as a few weeks ago. So how can you keep your home, belongings, and loved ones safe? A 15-year-plus veteran of the Quincy Police Department, Patrol Officer Chris Mueller, says it's pretty simple. The majority, if not all of them, have been left un unlocked. Uh, the same with the vehicles. He says the department is also doing their part, deploying a specialized task force to patrol the areas where they're getting more reports. Seems like every day we're handling at least two or three. Harrington says she knows Quincy's reputation of being safe may give people a false sense of security. We always had that saying, we leave our doors open at night or whatever because we've always felt safe. But if things like this are occurring, people are catching on that that's what um, they can prey on that vulnerability. Mueller says while Quincy is a safe city to live and work in, people need to take steps to ensure they're not an easy victim. We're not immune to the crimes of any other community, so make sure you lock up your stuff. I can't preach that enough. Mueller says people should also look out for their neighbors. He says if you see a neighbor's car or garage unlocked or open, either call them or call the police and then they'll get in contact with them. Live in Quincy, I'm Blake Salmon, WGEM News. Okay, thank you so much, Blake. And Mueller says in addition to locking your car, make sure to remove any valuables you might keep there and get them to a safe place. And if you have belongings stolen and the items taken include either a checkbook or credit or debit cards, Mueller says you should contact your bank and monitor your accounts.